There's the old rubber O-ring. Get that out of there. Spacer here. We're gonna have a new one of those. And I'm just gonna knock some of this crud out of here real quick. Splash guard. Probably put a little grease in there. This should turn. There we go. Knocking some of that old dirt off of there and that old grease. And then we'll put some fresh grease in there. wiped off and cleaned up this is good to use when you're spraying brake clean because and some safety glasses but this helps keep it from spraying right in your face it does like to come back at you all right we're gonna pop this seal out of here real quick Not sure if they've been replaced or not. Hard to tell. This is the uh, transmission off the 1965 Beetle. They were probably replaced at some point, but that thing's been sitting since 1980. All right. I'm gonna clean these parts up real quick with some brake clean and a little uh, cleaner. Stand by. All right, I got a little parts cleaner out of the parts cleaner. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's petroleum based. <laughs> it's cleaning it pretty good. And I'm just going through and scrubbing everything really good. And we're gonna hit this on the wire wheel too and get that old gasket off of there. But there's a, there's a hole here. I guess the idea is if, if you do get a leak, uh, that oil goes through that the uh, transmission oil goes through that hole right there, but it's all clogged up. So, this is working. Push it through. And then we got this little thing here. So yeah. Not that we're gonna need that, hopefully, but uh, I guess if it does get a leak, it's supposed to drain that way and get away from the pads, but I don't know. I don't think it really works. But we're gonna get cleaned out anyway. Get it all cleaned out.
get that old gasket off there. All right, I think we got it all cleaned up. I think we're ready. Oh, I hope we're ready. Let's see what happens. First thing we need to do is uh, put this washer in here. Then the seal goes in. Some of you guys are saying that you put some grease on this, so let's try that, see what happens. Just put a tiny little bit of grease on here. Maybe it'll slide in a little easier. All right. Oh yeah. She slid right on in there. Alright, we put a little grease on there. I'm gonna try to get this thing in there again. There we go. Gotta go down in there. Yeah, that grease helps. Just a little grease. Thing works pretty good all right check it out got it in there I think it's good it's just below that lip that's about where it was when we pulled the other one out and that other one was been in there for a long long time and I used an old seal that I keep around to tap it in there because it's exactly the same um, width so it's almost perfect and then you put this on top of it and it allows you to hit it down pretty hard. So I have a couple of spare stoppers. These things right here, these are from the front. I got a couple of these laying around. So I, I keep these around to do this and it works out pretty good. All right, let's get it on there. Okay. We just did this uh, on the Beetle chassis last week and it turned out pretty good. So I'm thinking this is gonna work out all right. So this washer goes here. Then this O-ring rubber seal goes on here. Then this spacer goes on with that little concave area goes around that seal like that and now now this goes on the disc plate the disc brake plate and then this goes on and this time we're going to use a uh, 
gasket instead of silicone. So I don't have any silicone here and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be taking this thing back apart anyway, so let's see if it works. Let's see if it works without any silicone. It's a little it's a little tricky getting it on here. Lube up those uh, bolts a little bit. Let's see if we can get this on here. Let me lube these up with a little, little free all. I appreciate everybody that went over and checked out the uh, music channel. It's uh, it's just in the very beginning stages, but it's gonna grow. If you go back and look at this channel, it's started off pretty slow, and then we picked up some steam the last couple of years. So I'm hoping that channel will kind of do the same thing. Just slowly build it up. But go check it out. There's a link below. CT Music. There's some other channels called CT Music too, so don't get confused. I guess it's a a thing. <laughs> uh, all right. Pretty good, that's pretty tight. That's it. This brake bracket on there, the calipers are gonna go here. We're gonna slide the rotor on here real quick, put a little grease on the splines. And then we're going to uh, do the other side. Hopefully that'll hold. I gotta put some I gotta put some uh, oil in the transmission. I'm not gonna worry about cleaning the rotors right now. They've got some surface rust on them, but I'm gonna do that later because we just need to be able to put the wheels on and get this chassis back to the house. Got anything? We'll put this pin in here in a little bit. I'm gonna tighten this down really good. Hopefully that'll seal. I guess we didn't need the O-ring on this, the big O-ring on this one.
hard to hold all these different pieces. And there's a horse fly trying to bite me. <laughs> so uh, a little challenging. Challenge. We're getting it though. There we go. Didn't look like the, this big O-ring was supposed to go on there. I don't know. If you guys know, like, comment below. But didn't seem like that groove was there, uh, like it was on the other setup. Let me get some new nuts, man. These are worn out. <laughs> keep going but it's pretty damn tight All right, got the hardest part done. Now we just need to get the wheels and I need to get the mounts and put that lower mounting bracket on there. Double check everything, make sure everything's tight. Put the pins in and uh, double check all the wheels, lug nuts and all that stuff. We're gonna get the wheels tomorrow and we'll hook it up and get this back to the house. Here's, uh, here's one of the uh, rear calipers that come in the kit. I bought this kit probably a year, year and a half, maybe might even be two years now. Time is flying. Uh, but we're finally getting around to it. And this goes onto this bracket right here, like that. And you can see where the pads are gonna go down in there. So it's gonna be pretty cool. We're not gonna put these on yet. We'll put these on when we get the chassis to the house. Um, Along with the master cylinder got another master cylinder here I think this I think I bought this for the 914 um, so save that for later and we've got some other stuff here so we're gonna try to get it all hooked up get it all ready to go put the type 4 engine on there take it for a test drive it's gonna be pretty cool all right guys stay tuned for that one let's go check out my music channel CT music
It's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna strip it down to bare bones and take music to its fundamental core. Building music from scratch, improvising, and taking it as far as we can go. I hope you appreciate it. Check it out when you get a chance, CT Music, link below. Thanks guys. Oh,